Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So this is the configuration manager installation video for part two. So I have downloaded the configuration manager 1902 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it since I already have SQL installed. So before we install, we need to uh, look at this um, prerequisites for installing configuration manager. There is a prerequisite site that tells you what needs to be installed. And if you look at the the uh, for example central administration site and primary site, it's gonna need all these. And it's gonna need Windows 80K, Visual C redistributed, and all SQL, SQL native clients. So just, I recommend that you go through this uh, link and to see what needs to be installed. Um, there's a lot of component that that's required. Like for example, this one is for the application catalog web service point. It's going to need ASP.NET 5.4.5.NET uh, 4 framework. I asked configuration. There's all the components that's going to be required. So since I have the configuration manager here, I'm going to go to command prompt here and run a prerequisites checker. So now let's go to command prompt, run as administrator. I'm going to change directory to, let's go to SCCM here and go to bin x64. I'm going to copy this. So you want to type in dir and type in pre star dot star. You want to look for the prerequisites uh, dot exe. So if you type in pre or e q c h k dot exe, or you don't have to put dot exe. So as you can see, there's command line um, that you can run against. For example, you run the prerequisites space slash DP. It's going to tell you what needs to be installed for the DP. Um, let's see what else. Secure upgrade slash SQL slash SDK slash join. So in this case, I'm going just I'm going to run the prereqs slash local this will tell me what i need to install before i can continue installation of configuration manager as you can see there's schema extension warning uh, there's wss warning there's the error i need to install this component that this is require redmin require that i have to install before i can continue um windows deployment toolkit use user state migrations windows pre-install so there's a bunch of stuff that i need to install before i can begin the installation of a uh, configuration manager and if you highlight one of them just for example windows pre-installed there's information you can go here and download the uh, the windows pe um, bits you can read more about it here oops let's see microsoft remote differentials there's link you can read more about it and how to install it so i'm going to install all these components and then once i'm once I'm done with the installation, I can come back here and uh, rerun the prereqs and then continue with the configuration manager installations. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to install all the components that are required. Once again, you just need to go into this website here and uh, see what you need to enable or in features that you want to install. All right, so I have installed all the um, required features, requires components. So now I'm going to run the prereq check again.
so far I don't see reds. I see no reds at all, only yellows. So these are just warning. The schema extension, I need to enable schema WSS that needs to be installed. So it looks like the check has completed. That means I can proceed with the installation of Configuration Manager. I'm going to click OK. All right, now let's get started and install Configuration Manager. I'm going to double click on the splash. Click OK there. going to click on install click next I'm going to install config configuration manager primary site just typical installation I'm not going to use typical installations I'm going to install the management point and everything else myself this is if you don't check this box it's going to be a custom install next I'm going to use the evaluation copy so once again the evaluation copy you can run it for six months I'm going to accept all the license and terms click next it wants to download the latest um, updates for Microsoft so I'm going to put it on my let's put it on the C drive make a folder called SCCM updates next okay we're gonna choose English only <clears throat> next enable all language for mobile device I am going to uncheck this box or I'm not going to check this box I don't need to enable all the languages click next the site code it has to be three letter or three digits so I'm going to call this PRI site name it's going to be Let's call it um, Cause and Cloud. The installation folder, I'm going to put it in on my E drive. It's going to call config MGR. I'm going to install the console. Click next. Join primary site. Nope, it's going to be a primary site and it's a standalone site. You have selected the installation standalone primary site. You can expand site into a hierarchy later time by installing central administrator site. That's fine. Yes. It's a local SQL servers. I'm going to choose the default and click next. Specify location of the SQL server data file. I'm going to put it on 
was it a D drive? Uh, e drive, yep. So it's going to be on E. I'm running out of disk space on C, so I'm going to put it on E. Click next. Doesn't exist. So let's see, try again. I think it wants to choose C. I can change this later. I'm going to click next. The SMS provider, that's fine. Click next. All side system roles, it's going to be mixed mode, which is the regular. Um, not secure mode. I'm going to leave that it, the way it is. Install management point. I'm going to install management point later. I'm going to install distribution point later. Click next. And next. And next again. So the installation will take a few minutes. I would say maybe 20 to 30 minutes. For now, I'm going to pause the video and welcome back. All right, the installation has been completed. You can look at the view logs here by clicking on the view logs. I'm going to close and exit. Now let's launch Configuration Manager Console. All right, look like I am able to get into the consoles. So I do not have management point install. And I don't have distribution point install. So I'm going to install a management point. Let's right click. Oops. at site server roles click next next again I'm going to choose management point You can install multiple roles at the same time, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do one by one. I'm going to choose HTTP. Next again. And I'm going to install a DP. Add site roles. Click next, next, distribution point, next. I'm going to install IIS, enable branch for distribution point. I don't need to do that for now, this is just for testing. Click next. I'm going to put it on my E drive. Let's see, it should be on E or F. I'm going to put on, I'm going to put it on F drive. And the second one is automatic and then F again. Click next. Next. 
I'm not going to enable Pixie. I, I'll do that later. That's fine. Default. Default. Click next. I'll set up the boundary groups later. Next. And close. The installation will take a few minutes and we'll come back. Let's take a look at the, um, the status of the management points. Let's monitor. Go to system status and site systems. Look like I have an error on management points. configurations manager could not locate okay this is um, the reason is because I did not run the um, schema extensions so once I run the schema extension that should resolve it so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to um, the we're gonna have to do the um, the configurations I will continue to video 3 for the site system configuration on configuration manager primary site thank you for watching and have a great day